and he's setting the tone for him once again. It's game time in Cleveland as the crowd is filling up the Quicken Loans Arena. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And guys, what are we going to be looking for in this one from Flash? Well, he helps his team win because he knows what he's capable of, which is defending and in particular taking charges. One of the better guys in the league at that skill. It's all about sacrificing his body and being in the right place at the right time. And something else he does that I know is underrated and undervalued is he sets very hard screens. Those screens are a real key component of a lot of the plays they run. Looking at the last game for the Cleveland Cavaliers, it was a win against the Celtics in Boston. And a lot of their scoring in that win came from unexpected places, from guys who don't typically get a lot of minutes. And you know what? Those guys on the bench, they practice every day, too, even if they don't play every night. And that night, they were ready. Just five to shoot. Here's Butler. Here's Best. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Flash has got his team on the board to start the game for the Bulls. For Chicago, they won their last contest that game against Milwaukee. And they did just what you have to do as a road team. Guys, they never allowed any momentum to build up against them. And like every time they took a punch, they had a counter. You'll like this, the reverse vertibility, we call that. <laughs> they had any defensive lapses, they immediately made up for it with some instant offense. Good way to start the game there. I mean, that's a nice inside buck. No question, Clark. I think they'd like to establish a presence down low early in the game to get their offense going. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented, for plays just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, it was a great dunk and also a great game we've got here. Now, here's Waiters. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Celtics in Boston. World Peace, the pass to Bynum. It's stolen by Aminu. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Rose kicks to Butt. Back to Rose. Rose off the pick from Best. Left side Boozer. Rocket two. A finger roll finish at the bucket. Brought back the finger roll. That's a nice finesse move to pull off. Get the defense all over. Irving dishes to Bennett. Waiters. Passes it to Bennett. Line him inside. Bennett kicks to Waiters. Doubled by Best. I'm deep. Shot by Bennett. No good. The Bulls have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. A bit ago, Mike Brown and I were able to chat. He said a big key for them will be containing Carlos Boozer offensively, adding he's a player who can spread the floor with his jump shot or take you down the block. And it's tough to match his strength and size. Defensively, they'll look to keep length in front of him and limit his offensive rebound. Sounds like a good game plan, guys. We'll see how they do it. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. He doesn't get the second one. Chicago leading by five. Rose with the ball. Guarded now by Yerba. Butler passes to Rose. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Victory eluded them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. Yeah, they really took it on the chin that last time out, and, and the difference was the turnover difference. When you look at the, uh, the stat sheet, uh, they were so careless with the ball, and those mistakes were just too much to overcome. Now here's Rose. He had 25 points in the win against Milwaukee. Yeah, he picked his spots in that game, too, Kevin, because I thought he not only did a nice job scoring, but setting up his teammates as well. Irving attacking. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Trying to get back on track. Rejected by Aminu. And it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. <laughs> Six on the shot clock. Irving drives in. 
and they're now one for five to start this game, so having trouble finding any offensive rhythm. Rose passes to Best. Kicks it to Boozer. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That's on Anthony Bennett. What about Clark, which Steve just talked about? How was it possible for them to turn the ball over so much in that game? Well, I mean, the defense was outstanding. Now, you got to give some credit where credit is due. But they also were a little sloppy at times with the ball. Irving double team. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You look at the Bulls. They're in second, looking to take over the first spot. And check it out, Cleveland. They're down in seventh place. Seeing where the Bulls are, they've been playing well to start the season. I mean, once again, asserting themselves as one of the powerhouse ball clubs in the league. I, I like what I've seen from this team so far. And they know better than anybody. Uh, the NBA season is a marathon, not a sprint. But nonetheless, they've certainly been hot out of the gates. Now, here is Irving. He had 16 points in the win against Boston. And how about his defense? Four steals on the night. He was so aggressive. Rose passes to Best. Outside Butler. Butler off a pick from Best. And Butler, here we go. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. There's yeah, not a lot you can do defensively when they continue to get the ball inside and get these easy shots. Bynum, defended by Best. Irving, double team. He passes to Waiters. He feeds it to Bynum. Cleveland moving the ball around. Bennett dishes to Waiters. Just five on the clock. And it's blocked by Best. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And the Bulls with possession. Big run right now going for him. 11-2. Rose kicks to Buck. Pass to Boost. Find him on The baseline J. Here's Best, and he lays Best. it straight in. Flash has got seven points. Boy, I tell you what, nice little run here that they're going on. Now the story is points in the paint, Clark. I mean, they're getting point-blank shots every time down. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. That's good. He's got nine. I love the aggressiveness with their approach. Pounding the ball inside, and it's working. They are owning this game early. They are constantly finding lanes to the basket. Now, here is Irving. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Back to world peace. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. But you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. The Bulls leading by 10. That's the best. And World Peace over to help. Bynum and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Rose with the ball. He's picked up by Irving. Rose attacking. Rose off the pick from Best. Here's Boozer. The pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the J. Boozer's got his second bucket of the night. Cleveland's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Irving double team. Bynum kicks to World Peace. The pass to Irving. Outside for World Peace. And air balls the triple. That one was way off. Bulls have gone seven of twelve from the field here in the first quarter. This is it the best. Gives him the lead pass. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, something that's special about him is his defensive intelligence. He knows what each opponent's bread and butter is and does whatever's necessary to take it away from him. Yeah, nicely put, Steve. He forces guys out of their game. I mean, gets them out of their comfort zone, makes them uncomfortable. He's an absolute terror to have to deal with when he's guarding. Free throw, good buttons. And the Bulls making a change here.
here's Irving. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So for Chicago right now, D. Rose and Jimmy Butler, the back. Bogans is out there with Cheeks, and it's best in at the center. They get it again. Thompson. It's going to be two free throws through contact on the shot. And now, let's take a look at a very well-rounded group of players. Shooting guards who can rebound at the big board. You look at Buck. He does a great job inside. One of the top rebounders in the league. You know, it's not easy to do what these players have done in that area, strictly because of positioning. And typically, as a two-guard, uh, you're going to be on the perimeter a lot more often than you will be inside. Yeah, but for all of these guys, you can point to their quickness as well as their superb instincts as to why they wound up on the list. I mean, you've got to have that nose for the basketball. Here is Bogan. The kick out to Rose. Shoots the three. <laughs> Offensive rebound. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the bull. Well, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. Well, the other thing I like is defensively, they're causing turnovers, and that's allowing them to get into transition. Cavaliers making a switch here. Bynum's checked in. Irving kicks to Bennett. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Feeds to Irving. Six to shoot. And it's blocked by Best. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And with a quick break in the action, let's take a look at some of the stats for Andrew Bynum. Seventh in rebounding. Seventh in field goal percentage. And he's also blocked enough shots to put him in the top 15 in that important defensive category. And Steve, I think where he's ranked on the rebounding list tells you a lot about his game right now. I mean, he's a smash mouth blast eater. Carlos Boozer's checked in for Chicago. Here is Bogan. Excellent D there from Bennett. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. Well, guys, Flash in the last outing against the Bucks put together a nice one. He dropped in 15 points and did a lot of his work from the charity strike, getting to the foul line over and over. Performances like this is a big reason why they've been so strong to start the season. Doris, thank you. Well, guys, you know, he made play after play in that game. Well, as he often does, Kevin, and we'll see. Maybe he'll explode again tonight because the momentum that he took away from that game, he's got to be feeling confident. Well, I don't know if it'll carry over, but clearly the fact that you have a high-level performance in your recent memory bank has to do you some good. And like you said, Steve, we'll find out tonight whether it continues. And so here is Chicago. Following the miss by Kyrie Irving. Rose with the ball. Guarded now by Irving. Good. Boy, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. The Cavaliers trail by 16. He dishes it to Bennett. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, here is Rose. Averaging 26 points a game. Dishes it to Bogans. He passes to Best. With the lead pass. And Boozer gets it to go. Boozer's got eight points. Good defense, but you gotta love the finish with the finger roll over the top. He kicks it to Bennett. Defended by Bogans. The feed to Irving. Shot clock at five. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. The soft finger roll is just one of the many finishing moves he has in his bag of shot making. That's the best. In low to Boozer. Soft touch off the glass. Boozer's got four points now in the quarter. The Cavaliers trail by 16. Timeout call Cleveland. Well, he 
may just be trying to get a break in the action to clear their heads. You know, a lot of their shots are rimming out. You wonder if their confidence isn't suffering at this point. I think that's a good time to call a timeout. If a team has a few fall the wrong way for them, just burn a timeout and let them forget about it. Regroup, talk about it, and refocus. It's been a great day for them on the boards, Clark. That's definitely been a major factor in building this big lead. And, you know, from a number standpoint, the advantage might not be that large, but they have been manhandling them inside. And, yes, sir, that one drops. 11 points for Flash. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Here's World Peace. Second shot opportunity. And, uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So we've got a couple of free throws coming up. The Cavaliers have shot 67% from the line, going 6 of 9. Yeah, it's been an average year at the line for them uh, so far this year, shooting about 75%. You know, their percentage has dropped off just a little bit compared to last year, guys. But it's not a huge drop-off, so no major concern. Chicago leading by 15. Here's Flash. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. Chipped in with a couple of blocks, too. So just giving you a hint of his potential impact as a defensive end. Well, he recognized the advantage size-wise, and he went right at the defender. That's how you do it. Irving with the ball, and Rose picks him up defensively. World Peace, the pass to Thompson. Here's Flash. 13 points in the game. Gets it to go. And the Bulls lead by 15. You know, they're being very one-dimensional right now, going to the post every time. But if it works, you don't need another dimension. Well, they're taking this defense to task, quite honestly. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Irving for three. They grab their own miss. That's good. Thompson's got 10 points in the game. It was a slow start for him. But he started to take off since we hit the second quarter, guys. The Bulls have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice, efficient 50%. Out of bounds, Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. Now a look at the Cavaliers' upcoming schedule. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. And that game is the second of two straight at home. And I'll be looking forward to seeing how that Phoenix game turns out for sure. Chicago making a switch here. Teague left side. Teague gets a screen from Best. A nice shot by Teague. Teague's got his first points in this one. You know, they've been so effective when they've been able to get the ball inside. Some real shortcomings from this defense. I mean, they've given up five straight looks in the paint. No problems knocking that one down. And that's now six points for Meta World Peace. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. The pass to the best. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Jarrett Jack has checked in for Kyrie Irving. And Jack kicks to Waiters. Back to Jack. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And it's world peace missing. He has not been on his game. And, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Here's Teague. It's rebounded by Cleveland. He doesn't really scare a defense at all. You've seen him miss quite a few just like those. Lee with the steal. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Terry Moglu. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul. And he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. That's going to be on Jared Jack. Chicago shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Cavaliers making a switch here. No good at the strike this time. Second misses also. The Cavaliers trail by 12. Here's Montgomery. The dish to Jack. Shot is blocked. They recover it. Thompson misses. Chicago's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Has it the best. Oh, 
Kicks it to Aminu. Stolen by Wade. Jack against Lee. He's jammed himself up a little bit here with that second foul. As long as he can avoid a third before the half, I think he's fine. The Cavaliers have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. The Bulls making a switch here. Cheeks has checked in. He's always been extremely reliable at the line, and today's been no different. Teague hits the lead. That's the best. Makes the lead pass. Cheeks. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll Jeez. shoot two right here. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And he makes the first. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Bennett's checked in. Cheeks hits them both. The Cavaliers trail by 12. We've got 148 left in the first half. And Waiters kicks to Jack. Now the pass to Montgomery. Shot clock at six. Bynum defended by Bess. Bynum drives in. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Chance here, Kevin, to see where the Cavaliers currently rank in the NBA. Second in assists, third in shooting percentage. And they also show up as a top five three-point shooting team. I mean, that's tall cotton there. Elite level marksmanship from behind the arc. Man, Clark, let's go back to the assists for a second. And this is what makes this team good, I think, right now. They're sharing the ball. Uh, they're getting great ball movement and spacing. And they've become so efficient offensively yes. that they've become a nightmare to guard. Well, offensively, he's taken a solid opening quarter and just built on it here in the second. Inside, it's stolen by T. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. It looks like he's finding his touch now because the shots are starting to fall. And Jack kicks to Bennett. Doubled by Best. Outside Jack. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Well, they've only got a slight edge in rebounding when you look at the numbers. But it certainly feels a lot bigger than it is. Well, the score has a lot to do with that, Clark. Just based on that, you'd think the rebounding gap would be huge. Now, here is Jack. 11 points for him in that last game against Boston. And when you talk about his scoring, Kevin, I mean, with the defense trying to pressure him, I thought he did a really nice job of getting them to overcommit. And, and you know, that's how he got himself to the free throw line. The Cavaliers trail by 18. Back to Bynum. He feeds it to Jack. Pass to Waiters. He dishes it to Bynum. Jack passes to Bynum. And a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. Nice pass. That one was right on target. No luck. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. Rolls out front, up by 16. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Welcome to 2K Sports. We've got a rivalry battle on our hands today. Let's break it down. Chicago with the lead against Cleveland. And look at all those rejections, erasing easy looks, just making it hard around the rim. A tremendous first half for Flash. What he's been able to do from the field has been nothing short of spectacular. Only a select few players in the league can shoot the ball like that. And the Cavaliers, they've been struggling a bit. Too many turnovers, tough to win when you're giving the ball away as easily as they have. They need to start playing smarter basketball in the second half. Tristan Thompson absolutely dominated. After two, he's got 10 points. Been outstanding on the defensive side of the court as well. Gotten the job done on the glass, too. 
And that does it for us here in the studio. Thanks so much for joining me. And now, back out to Kevin and the gang. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. As we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys, and we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. Talk about some great numbers for Flat. He has 15 points, and he has been the definition of a thief with all those steals. I'll say, I mean, defensively, he's fought his way through this game beautifully. They haven't gotten away with any loose passes, any sloppy ball handling when he's in the vicinity. Irving and Waiters, the guards. Bennett is up there with World Peace, and it's Bynum, and at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five for Cleveland right now. The Bulls leading by 15. Here's Flash. Feeds it to Boozer. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Boozer's got four points in the quarter. You know, passing the ball well on the perimeter has really opened things up offensively for this club. Steve, it makes the game easy. I mean, 10 straight points off assist. That's impressive, but it's easy when you move the ball. Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, that didn't go down, but those are exactly the plays coaches like to see. That one misses. Chicago's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Here's best. A finger roll finish at the bucket. Flash has got 17. They are owning the lane right now. Every one of their last 10 points has come either at or near the rim. Great looks in tight because they're finding lanes to the hoop whenever they want them. Now, here's Bennett. Right now averaging 15 points a game. And that one's good, Irving. Talk about doing a Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. Boozer inside, defended by Bennett. Boozer passes to best. Up and in on the layup. Flash has got 19 points. Great teamwork out there, really helping each other out. Their plan is one. I mean, they're like a symphony. Everybody in harmony and in beat and in rhythm. Five straight baskets now have resulted because of assists. The open shot, world peace. That one a tad off onto the right, but drops in for him. Chicago leading by 16. Pass to best. Back to Rose. Best. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got his fourth assist in this one. Timeout call the Cavaliers. Yeah, he's seen enough of this interior scoring that his defense is giving up. So the message during this timeout is to lock things up inside. You know, sometimes a group can just get spaced out on defense. They're not connected and playing five as one. And usually a timeout can help you refocus and recalibrate that defense. Now here's Waiters. Averaging 14 points a game. And still perfect here in the second half. Four for four from the field. Here's Rhodes. He passes to best. that one for a while. I know I will, Kevin. That was special. Oh, oh man, gosh, that was a circus dunk. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. Boy, it was a clunker of a game for him at the foul line the last time they played. Well, it's hard to imagine he'll put in that kind of performance twice in a row. And I know he's got to be upset at himself for shooting so poorly at the line. Huh? So I would think he'll be doing everything he can to bring those numbers up. Looked to me like the defender didn't get squared up and get his feet set. Good work by the officials. A nice call. That play can be tough to judge sometimes. Now here's Bynum, averaging 18 points a game. There's the steal. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. And Rose throws it down. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. And there's Andrew Bunn on the assist from Dion Waiters. And that's now six points for Andrew Bynum. The Bulls leading by 19. Rose goes in. 
dishes to Butler. He kicks it to Rose. Goes off the pick from Best. Charity stripe shot. Another one falls for Chicago. Boy, that mid-range jumper is a beautiful thing to have in your bag, and they've had it going today. Yeah, but look down at the other end of the court. The same has not held true. Now, here is World Peace. He's got 11. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. And Carlos Cruz gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Chicago. Waiters dishes to Bennett. Irving. World peace on the wing. Back to Irving. Five on the clock. Now the feed to Waiters. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Rose kicks to Butler. Back to Rose. There's the pick. There's the dish to Amin. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Well, these are the players you don't want to give any space to beyond the arc right now. The best long-range shooting guards in the past 10 games. Dion Waiters is second. These are the gunners, guys. They've got the green light at all times because we know what they can do beyond the arc. Freedom given is freedom earned, Steve. By putting up those kinds of numbers, they've earned their freedom. And at that position, you've got a job to do, and they do it well. Carasaw, he's checked in for Meta World Peace. Irving kicks to Bennett. Waiters. The pass to Thompson. Working on Noah. Shoots from the block. Thompson with the bucket. Thompson's got 12 points in the game. Boy, he can be a matchup nightmare inside the paint. Rose passes to Aminu. Back to Rose. Passes it to Best. Outside Rose. The rebound by Karasov. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Big time finish. In fact, he hangs on the rim, too. Just for, for good measure. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a little showboating out there. The shot's good from best. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. The Cavaliers trail by 19. Waiters with the ball. Butler covering. And Karasov kicks to Irving. Cleveland moving it around. Another three for Cleveland. And that kind of defense is just not going to cut it. Guys, they have to get a hand in his face. Rose goes in. And stolen by Bennett. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Leads him in there, and it's blocked by Noah. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. A moment here to take a look at some of the numbers for Derek Rose. Third in scoring, and one of the better passers in the league. In the top 20 in assists per game. And Steve, you mentioned his unbelievable points per game ranking. I mean, this guy is a guy I would call Bucket. Now here's Butler. He has seven. Rose attacking. The best. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And here is what the Chicago Bulls schedule is looking like. Following this, they get to host the Rockets. And that game will kick off a four-game homestand. And an important part of every team's game. And we'll look at the hustle stats for the Bulls. Guys, one of the themes in this game has been how much of their scoring has come off turnovers. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's been a factor is the transition game. They're scoring a lot of points on the fast break. Bulls making a switch here. Hogan's has checked in. Tipped away. Stolen by Noah. And here we go. The Bulls. Straight. Rose with the ball. Kicks to Bogans. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Bogans got five points so far. He feeds it to Bennett. Pass to Waiters. 
Bennett setting the pick for Waiters. He passes it to Carson. He dishes it to Waiters. From downtown, no good from Carson. Well, in the film session, they'll say that was a well-challenged shot. Bogans passes to Rose. Feeds it to Bogans. Back to Rose. Throws off the pick from Best. Butler attacking. Down to five on the shot clock. Bogans dishes to Rose. And the Bulls get it back. The kick outside to Butler. Outside Rose. There's the pass to Best. Puts the lead pass in front of him. Good. That was a nice finish to an excellent possession. So it's the Cavaliers now. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Irving kicks to Bennett. Tries to keep it alive. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. An exceptional play to take the bump and still get it up and down. Yeah, way to stay with it. And look to finish the play right there. Now here's Rose. He's got six. Here's Flash. And the rejection by Bennett. And they'll keep possession. And that one's good by Noah. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. Firmly in control of this game. Yeah, they have not let their guard down one bit in the paint. There's the block. Now Lee, right now averaging seven points a game. Go! Lee off a bit from best. Three-pointer, Bogans. That drops. <laughs> Bogans got five points now in the quarter. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot off. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. And that one's good. And it's seven points for Anthony Bennett. See the way he times his passes so well. That's a great assist. Rose kicks to Bogan. Dishes it to Lee. The feet to Noah. Passes it to Best. Rocket six. And stolen by Bennett. Outside Jack. Bennett setting the pick for Jack. He kicks to Bennett. And a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. Jack's got his third assist on the night. That's the best. Rebound by Meta World Peace. World Peace has got his fourth rebound in this one. The kick out to Jack. Felix. World peace on the way. Cleveland moving the ball around. Here's Sanford. And the layup ball. Well, every once in a while, he'll show us some pretty good moves around the hoop. And the pass to best. 109 left in the third quarter of the game. And that one's good by Noah. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And um, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. The first one falls. Bulls making a switch here. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 54 seconds left to play in the third. Passes it to best. The dish to lead. Kicks it to Rose. Pass to Boozer. Covered by World Peace. And there's Carlos Boozer on the assist by Rose. Rose has got six assists here tonight. They get a hand on it. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. And it's checked in for the Cavaliers. 40 seconds left to play here in the third. The Cavaliers trail by 20, hit his foot. And the official saying it was kicked. Waiters with the ball. He's picked up by Lee. Line him. Down on the 
Chicago defenders wanted anything Clark to do with him on that chain. And I do not blame him at all, partner. He was coming in with a bunch of steam and was ready to posterize whoever decided to get in his oh, way. All right, I understand, fellas, but come on. You've got to challenge him a little bit at least. Here's Boozer. Here's Best. And Drew Bynum grabs the miss. Bynum's got his third rebound tonight. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Bulls ball. Nine seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Best. He feeds it to Boozer. And stolen by Bennett. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. This Tuesday. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. And the Cavaliers with possession here. They trail by 18. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. Best, he's in at center. The out there with Derrick Rose. Then there's Carlos Bruce. That free throw good from Bynum. He's perfect from the line this time. Lee with the ball. Outside Rose. Pass to Best. He dishes it to Lee. Lee off a bit from Best. Lee passes to Best. Five to shoot. Snell covered by World Peace. A rebound by Bennett. The Cavaliers trail by 16. Waiters dishes to Bynum. Feeds to Bennett. No luck. Now Chicago takes it the other way. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Following this one, they get to host the Rockets. That'll be the first of four played at home for them. I know I'll be looking out for the final score in that Rockets game. It should be close, I think. Here's Flash inside. Oh! And the layup's yes. good off the glass. Flash has got 30. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. His shooting has been off the charts. That's tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Now here is Jack. Stolen by Boozer. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Here's Best. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Six on the shot clock, and Jack kicks to Waiters. Back to Jack. Bulls from the top of the key. Bynum. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Flash has got rebound number eight now on the night. Dishes it to Boozer. Lee. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Back to Rose. Lee outside. Snell from the arc. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Waiters got three rebounds so far in the game. Leads him in there. And World Peace kicks to Waiters. And there's the feed to Bynum. Rebounded by Rose. Rose has got his third rebound tonight. And there's the pass to Best. Banked in off the glass. Flash has got 34 points. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. The Bulls leading by 22. He kicks the Rose. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. 
And if they continue to shoot well from the free throw line like they are, I mean, their lead is going to be pretty steady here. That's not an overstatement. They've literally not missed a single foul shot this half. Al Farouk Amina, he's checked in for Chicago. Now, here is Irving. He passes to Waiters. And there's the whistle. That goes on flat. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number five would put him in a rough, tough spot. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. His shooting has been so good today. He may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this hole. Now here's Butler. Mino off the pick from Best. Shots good by Butler. Not much the defense can do once he gets to the bucket. For Cleveland, they've gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Bennett with it. Hoosier picks him up. Irving kicks to Bynum. Can't hit from in close. But an eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. Now the dish to Rose. Goes off the pick from Best. Shot clock at six. Shoots from the right block, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Al Cleveland shooting at a decent 44% clip here. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Line them the pass to World Peace. Bynum dishes to Waiters. That's in, coming off the assist from Bynum. Six points for Dion Waiters. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. Now here's Boozer. Rose kicks to Butler. Back to Rose. Outside Butler. Just five to shoot. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Jacks up a three. And a shot misses. And Cleveland the other way now. Here's Best. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Flash has got 36. And what you love about him is just the way he hits the offensive glass. I mean, he knows that those are the easiest points for him when he can find a loose ball, get an offensive board, and put it back into the basket. And you know what else I like about him, Steve? He'll do whatever it takes to help that team out. We've seen him take some absolutely gut-wrenching charges that a lot of other guys would simply avoid. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. In low to Boozer. Stolen by Waiters. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Waiters leading the charge. I'm called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Yeah, guys, I think he feels like he can make a few improvements during this timeout. Just kind of make a couple of adjustments, get his club back on track. You know, coaches are always tweaking and tinkering with things yes. mid-game. Actually, sometimes they overdo it. Their interior defense has been dismal. Yeah, and unfortunately, their offense in the paint hasn't been a whole lot better. Rebound by Carlos Boozer. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. And I'll tell you what, they've turned a lot of those rebounds into points at the other end. Here's Flash. Boozer kicks to Rose. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Well, their pass is the best. He feeds it to Boozer from the baseline. And it's Chicago scoring again. He's definitely got that shot in his arsenal. Well, the Cavaliers shooting 43% for the game. Waiters with the ball. Butler covering. Shot by Bennett. No good. That's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. Goes off the pick from Best. Rose kicks to Aminu. No good off the back of the rim. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Bynum with a screen on Rose. Here's Waiters. 
misfires after coming off the pick. Yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good, but good ball movement anyway. Now here's Boozer. Passes the best. Back to Boozer. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. And that assist earned him a little nod from his teammate after the basket. And the Cavaliers with possession. Outside Irving. Stolen. And he's got a five by five. Rips down the breakaway slam. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk Clark coming within seconds of the steal. I love the way they convert from defense to offense. But, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. And so it's Cleveland with it. After Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. Bynum, he's covered by Boozer. Four on the shot clock. On its way from Irving for two, and he gets it back. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 19-6 run. Teague against Jack. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain Bulls possession. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Seven. Puts it up. Off the inbound. And no good. Excellent D there from Tyler Zeller. They're struggling to keep up. Now we'll see if they can turn things around on this trip. They can't continue to come up empty. Montgomery, the pass to Jack. Stolen by Bogans. Outside Teague. Pass to Best. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Cavaliers ball. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. Here's Chicago. They're on a 19-6 run. With the lead pass, here's Cheeks. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Oh my gosh, I just got that. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Guys, untidy. You've got to value the possession of the basketball. I know you agree with that, Steve. No, totally. You've got to play with control and composure, Kevin. Fantastic pass. He turned that one into a pretty easy basket for his teammate. The best to best. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Hogan's off the pick from best. Six to shoot. The eight-footer. Hogan's Zeller grabs the board. And here is Jack. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Thompson misses. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. I mean, they're really pushing them around physically at this point. Kicks to T. <laughs> Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Oh! And here is Jack. Right side Jack is off his leg. Kicking ball call. And the ref saying he kicked it. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth. Montgomery, the pass to Jack. Buries the long-range jumper. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-pointer. Teague kicks to Bogan. 
pass to Cheeks. He dishes it to Bogans. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Cleveland's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Doubled by Best. Another steal. Down low. Outside Teague. They set the pick. T gets a screen from Best. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. How much to be critical of with this wing, Clark? Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up. You shot lights out tonight and played a huge role in the win. Did you have a feeling coming in that you were going to be hot, or did this performance kind of catch you by surprise? Oh, yeah, I knew it. No doubt about it. My hand was feeling a little warm in the locker room beforehand. I asked some of the other guys. I told them this was coming. And when you know you're about to go off, you just got to get the ball in your hands whenever possible. I did that. We got the win. And you can all thank me for that.